What up, y'all? Today, I'm gonna show y'all a little technique that will save you so much time, okay? If you wanna learn how to do stencils correctly, watch the rest of the video, because I swear, watching this short five minute video, it's gonna save you a lot of hours of frustration and stress and you, 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 I promise you're gonna want you're gonna want this tip, okay? I've not haven't seen any other YouTuber give this tip, so let me please like it down down below, share the video, so other people that are having problems with this kind of with this issue with stenciling can learn how to do it the easy way too, okay? You don't even need a heat gun like everyone else says. It's definitely recommended, but with this technique, you don't even need it, okay? So please like the video subscribe, follow my Instagram. You can add me on Snapchat, maybe. I might accept you, I don't know. So there's some weird people out there nowadays, you know? I did these all with Sharpies, y'all. This is a 100% Sharpie, okay? Except the, except the fear of God. Except that I, I did that with paint. And look, in case you haven't noticed already, these are all dots on the shoe, okay? These are 100% dots. I didn't use any lines with the Sharpie. It's called stippling. Some people call it like pointillism or something. I don't know. I call it stippling. You're gonna wanna blow your hair out. It takes forever to do this shit. So, you're gonna wanna watch the rest of the video, I promise. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think. But turn on post notifications. Don't forget to do it. Peace. I only say peace like I'm like this is the end of the video, but it's not. It's just the beginning. So, uh, yeah. stencils you want to make sure you put the base coat down first so whatever the bottom color need, is going to be that's what you want or also to look like this not clean edges at all so put the base coat over the stencil before you put the actual color that you want the font to be so look this is a more simple version of it. So if you want to make this stencil black, you see how if you just put the black layer, black paint over it, it'll seep through under here, under the cracks. So what you want to do first is get the base coat, which is white, and make that white. Put several layers of white down so that it builds up a little wall right here along the edge. So whenever you go to put the black down, their black has nowhere to go underneath because the white border is already there. I hope this is making sense to you guys. So here's another example. If you want the background to be red and the font to be white, you wanna make sure you put the red down first and then go over with the white. So it builds up a red border around the wall, around the edges, so that the white stays contained in the font area only.
Bam! This is the shoe. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment down below. And a lot of you guys were commenting y'all want bands. So here's some bands. Now let me know what else y'all want to see. But yeah, it's super easy, you guys. It just takes a lot of patience. And it's all, I didn't do this all in one sitting. I, I've kind of just been working on them, rotating them throughout the week as I've, I've been working on other orders. So yeah, I mean, it's a good little side project if you're just bored or want to work on patience or you want to work on, uh, you know, just getting better at art, trying a new technique. Here you go. You're welcome. Subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you. All right, bam. I always say all right too, but anyways, bam, here it is. I always say bam. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna just get straight to the chase. I'm gonna cut. I can't talk. Damn, I'm gonna have to do like an extras bit at the end. That's what I'm gonna do, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do that.